be looked at in a way. To where what I have said or will say, you know, will affect us. But it won't affect us in a way to where we won't progress, you know. That's a beautiful thing, isn't it? To know that because we sometimes have words that are weapons. I would say all our words are weapons. These weapons that we use are not to harm each other, are not to keep each other stagnant, you know, or in a unstable mind frame, yet to bring that forth, which we know as enhancement, you know, encouragement, uplifting type of... See, I just paused there. I paused there because I didn't have words to say that went along with what I was saying. And I feel that that's okay, right? Should that, is, should that be okay? I shouldn't have that steady flow. I mean, you know what I mean? Serial too, this burp as I'm speaking. That should be okay, right? Should I always have something pre-written down or smooth, so smooth to where it's like, oh, that's, you know, you're under the impression that it's not from me. You know, I'll be under the impression too that's not from me. Like, wow, these words really just came out of nowhere and I'm speaking them without even thinking about them type thing, right? I would feel that way. And I would have to be conscious enough to understand that there are things that I should say and I'm going to say them for all our benefit. You know, and I didn't put the S on there. So that, there goes again where that whole sentence or that full existence was imperfect. But once again, I'm a person who strives for that perfection, right? And to know that I one day will have an impact upon not just myself, but my, our kids, you know? What I say around our kids, it has to help them, you know? It has, the way I carry our, myself around our kids, or just ourselves, our period, has to help us. It's like, no situation came upon me to change me really into this person. I've always been this person. It's amazing because some situations have to come upon us to put us in this type of frame. You know, and it's a, it's a, like, it's a reason, like, why would a person start to speak like this or start to be like this, right? Other than it doing what for, our, not just for our survival, but for our, just our, our independence, right? Our freedom. I mean, I'm on these, 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 these same type of um, topics that I feel we should be on, right? And, you know, with that with the steady rising, you know, there never there being a decrease. It should be like this, right? I mean, my, the cereal in my bowl is becoming soggy. That's how much I'm putting the points of me speaking over me eating. Little, I mean, even though ain't nothing wrong with a little soggy cereal, I'm thankful to even have something to consume. Um, I was unaware of the time that it was, I spent talking. And it's like, wow. I feel like it was only been seconds, but even minutes that I've been talking. You know, I, I appreciate what I've been saying because I feel as though it's only been helping me and if anybody was to hear it, it would help them. You know, in a way that maybe I don't know yet. But because this type of speech pattern is coming from me at this moment, from what has been articulated with what I'm saying, because it's almost like a picture. If, you, if we put the words down, and we, you know, it's, 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 and then it's a picture in your mind, and it, it it will fill you up with what is said. You know, it's like imagining all these things that you could say, you could say about yourself that you would want for yourself, or you want for somebody else. And then that's like that's the type of person I want around me. It's almost as if you are recreating or creating that same type of individual like yourself at that moment. And then because we have it to where we can repeat these seconds, minutes, hours, right? It's on a cycle of creation. You know? But since we all have one, right? Well, you got you know, some, some humor. I love that class. Anyway.